Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to accomplish the calculation for absolute white blood cell counts. Right now the values that we have learned have been for relative counts and relative counts are percentages and so this is the exact num these are the exact numbers that we talked about in class already. Neutrophils 50 to 70 percent, bands 0 to 5 percent, uh, lymphocytes for an adult anyway, 18 to 42 percent, and so on. Those are relative counts, uh, meaning a, it's a percentage. But we also have to take into consideration what the absolute count is based off of both the relative count and the total white blood cell count. So the total white blood cell count normal range, because this is the normal range area, uh, is uh, 3.6 times 10 or uh, yeah, times 10 to the third to 10.6 uh, times 10 to the third. And so when we're calculating out um, values for uh, these particular items, so if I wanna know what the range is for the absolute neutrophil count, I would take the low end of the relative count times the low end of the white blood cell, uh, the total white blood cell count, and then the high end of the range of the relative count times the high end of the total white blood cell count. So if I do that calculation, it's 50% of 3,600 um, which ends up being uh, 1.8 times 10 to the third. So I'm going to just, uh, for the sake of being able to fit it in here, I'm not going to add in the times 10 to the third. I'm just going to have this in there. And so that's the low end normal for an absolute count of neutrophils. The high end uh, range would be the high percentage times the high count. So 70% times 10.6. So if we do, if I do that calculation, uh, it's 0 0.7 times 10,600. And that value is 7.4. So the normal absolute count for a neutrophil is 1.8 to 7.4, a pretty large range. Bands, uh, zero, the end, the low number is easy because it's 0%, so 0 to 5%. So 5% 5 times 10.6 uh, times 10 to the third. So that would be 5 percent times 10.6 times 10 to the third. So that would, if we plug that into our calculators, it's 0 0.05 times 10,600. And that value ends up being... 530, which is uh, um, 0 0.5, we'll say. And then I'll just do this last one here with you um, for normals, and then you can finish the rest of these three. But for lymphocytes, it would be 18% times 3.6, or 3,600. So uh, when I type that into my calculator, it's 0.18 times 3,600 and that value is uh, 0 0.6, so the low end is 0 0.6, and that will go, the upper range would be 42% times 10,600, uh, 10, so when I type that into my calculator, it's 0 0.42 times 10,600, and the high uh, end of my uh, range would be uh, 4.5. And then you can do these calculations, so 0 0.02 times 3.6 and 0 0.11 times 10,600 and, and then these, so you can do those. When we calculate patient values, or if we have to calculate patient values, um, we, we need the actual printout. So I'm just looking at this one here. And the printout, or um, if we don't have this, we can use our own diff to figure this out and estimate. So um, if this is our relative count, so these are our percentages here, it would just be the percent times this value equals the absolute value. So if I take 80.8% um, and multiply that by 23.9, that would give me the absolute neutrophil count. So if I type that into my calculator again, that would be 0 0.808 times 23,900 and that would equal 19,311 or 19.3 times 10 to the third. So if I move my hand away, 
we'll see this being 19.3. So it, uh, the patient values here are the total um, white blood cell count multiplied by the uh, relative count. And in our example, uh, the total white blood cell count was 23.9. Um, that's times 10 to the third. And that was multiplied by uh, the percentage, which was 80.8%. And that value ended up being 19.3 uh, times 10 to the third. So this is our absolute count. And we, when we compare that absolute count to the range, much, much higher, right? So this patient has absolute uh, neutrophilia, which is uh, a high neutrophil count. Um, even though if we, even if we bump this down into a 70%, it's still gonna be really, really elevated as far as what the absolute uh, count range is. And that concludes our calculation on absolute white counts.